Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Stone Block 3 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, today we are getting into kind of automated resources. We're going to be using a lot of create things and a lot of other auto hammers and such like that. So stay tuned and I think you'll enjoy. Yes, yes, yes. So last episode we left off in this room here. But as you guys can see, I have done some work here with my trusty iron impact hammer. Yeah, mine this out really quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, we have each nine by nine rooms here. Um, we're in a three by three little grid. Uh, we are gonna be doing most of our stuff in here today, uh, which means we are gonna have to tear out all of the water wheels that we put here last episode. We're gonna kind of put them in this wall over here, and then we are gonna have our crushing wheels be over here. But yeah, we're gonna make it look really good. I wanna kind of maybe fix up the ground a little bit too. Uh, see if we can get some dirt on hand. Um, I've got quite a bit here but I wanna kinda go for a designer look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda chisel this out here. I can't make a hammer for this, but we're going to, yeah, for each of these rooms, we're gonna kinda chisel it out just like so, all the way, like all these blocks gone. So we're gonna convert all the middle here to dirt, and then we can use these grass seeds we get, I believe, from crooking dirt and these will all become grass and it'll feel a lot better and then we're also going to line up the outsides here with wood um and that'll just give us a really nice kind of comfortable looking floor and then we're probably going to put some deep slate into the walls and it's just going to feel a lot better and more comfortable in here yeah so i like it yeah so what i was thinking here is that we could use some stripped oak logs here uh, and I don't know how we're going to do this. I might just do grass all the way through. I might mine this out, put the um, the stripped oak logs here. But this contrast of the wood and this, it's going to look really nice, especially paired up with the, the whatchamacallit, um, deep slate. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing today, which is a lot of work uh, with automating the, the whole crushing system. And so we're gonna need to make a couple of auto hammers here. And the cool thing is I did go ahead and smelt up all of the gold we've gotten in the last couple of episodes. Uh, and we do have a little bit of iron left. Is that really the only iron we have left? No, we have a little bit more. Thank you, past self. Uh, and we're gonna be using our iron paxel instead of a stone one from now on. Okay, so what do we need here? Well, let's have a look-see. So we need some glass. So we're gonna need some sand. Um, I believe we get sand from smacking this stuff around. Okay, yep, so we got about two stacks here. We can throw this in here, it'll smelt up very quickly. If you guys missed it, I think last episode or the episode before, we got a netherite furnace, which is just so good. Okay, and now we're just missing the redstone. I have one. I have one piece of redstone. We gotta wash dust. All right, we can wash dust. We can do that. All right, stack of dust here. All we gotta do now is just chuck it over here and we wait. All right, waiting completed. Perfect, we got a couple more. That's all we need. Okay, so our goal is going to be to smash up gravel. Right, so we're gonna need to supply cobblestone. Also, I did add in two upgrades over here, so now we can store up to 131 cobblestone. So that's gonna be really nice when we're clearing stuff out. But now all we need is a hammer, and we need the cobblestone that we just put in there. Give it back. And iron hammer, booyah, and skadoosh. So we can do that one. Um, Let's see can also do this, boom. We can go up to the next tier, I believe, which is a gold hammer. Yep, we can make that one, perfect. So we're just gonna be utilizing one here today. Um, we're gonna be using that, utilizing the third tier, so that should be awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get another cobblestone generator. Oh, yep, bucket of lava. 
Maybe the other bucket here. We can go like this. And then cobblestone generator. This is going to require compress. There we go. But we can also just start smelting this stuff. <laughs> I just utilized the stone that we needed, but that's okay. We can just go like this. And we get a lava bucket. Cool. Yep, there we go. So all that's good to go. We can turn all of this. We just need one more. Perfect. All right, so cobblestone generator. Sorry, this guy here. Booyah. And how do you upgrade it? Ah, with the seared stone. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade it while we're here? All right, and this should be good to go now. Perfect. We'll just pour these in here. And it's not that big of a deal, so we can just break it. And we don't have any left over. Cool. So we now have the tier two. Ooh, Loopy spawned in our base. Very cool. Let me chase this bee around, and we'll see what we get. Okay, he just turned into items. That was a little weird. We got a diamond, we got a fluid card, an item card, and two eggs. So that's good, because eventually we're going to get into the chickens, which is very useful. Oh, we also got a blazing battery. Very cool. I guess we're up a lot of power there. But cool. So all we need now, I believe, is a drawer. Now, we do have that kind of drawer, but I don't want to make it. So we put the chest in here. Boom, boom. There we go. So oak drawer. All righty, so, hmm. I wonder if it would just be better if we set up the create stuff over here for this episode. Or like, not for just this episode, but like, just to simplify the process. Okay, because if we do that. No, that doesn't require any power. So what we need to do is get some pipes. Uh, this guy here. That's gonna, that's gonna require a bit of iron that we can make. Okay, so we have that many. All right, iron and then a dropper. So we we'll need a little bit of redstone. Wait, do we need redstone to make this? Okay, so we have just the perfect amount. So we need to make a total of two droppers. All right, and this should allow us to make the item pipes. Yes, that, okay, we're out of redstone though. All right, and then we need to type in pipe and then we should see a wrench here. Yes, but that's gonna require brass. Hmm. Okay, you can use a stick to make it. Okay, so you don't have to use that crazy create tool. So let's see here. Click. There we go. Can we smelt up brass in this? Got a little bit of brass here. A little bit of brass here. Let's see if we can put it in. Oh yeah, we can. Very cool. In our uh, streaming world, I did not know that. Nice. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Very cool. All right, there we go. So we have the two brass rods that we need. Very cool. Don't need that crazy machine. And then we just need two flint, which I don't believe we have. We have a flint and steel, but no flint. So I need to spend some time with this guy here. And just do this. Okay, one flint. There we go, two flint. Perfect, so now we can make the pipe wrench. Booyah, so now we can do cool things. And let's go ahead and claim the quests on those. So pipes, we got a lapis lazuli paxel. That is amazing. It has seven attack damage. We have, okay, so it's actually worse than my tool by a lot. <laughs> okay, not that good, alrighty. Okay guys, so it is time now to really upgrade our uh, rotational, our kinetic stress capacity. So we're gonna be adding a bunch of these guys down here. Let's see, how many are we gonna use? We started with 57. Oh, we might as well do the whole thing. Do all of them, yeah. 
Okay, one more. Might be a little much. There we go, okay. So I wanna have it so we just have one here on the side, so it's easy to upgrade if we need to in the future. Uh, but this should be okay for our little room here. Uh, and we're just gonna do it really uh, easily and run all the way down here. We're gonna just bring a cobblestone. Yeah, or should we bring glass? I think we should do glass. I think that would look cool. Even though we're not gonna see it, mm, you know, we'll know it's there. That'll show them. Let's grab the glass. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more than that. Mm, we're just gonna have to make do. Okay, so let's go ahead now and we will do this. We'll just bring this all out. I guess the, the back couple of them will just have cobblestone, but it'll give us a cool look, hopefully, is what I'm going for. Oh, perfect amount, look at that. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Cool, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up all the water going underneath. So yes, we could just put water going on top and it would come here and be okay. But if we do this and we create water sources here, it will give us more power. So let me do that and be jumping around a bit and I'll be our bees. All right, so we have all of these guys in now down here below. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna start filling these in. Just like so. And so now we have infinite water sources below us. So this process should be relatively easy. So now I am going to do this all across the way and we'll be right back. Okay, so all of these are now filled in and we can replace that later but now we should have a lot of rotational force here and the reason why i put it a couple blocks back is because i would actually like to have the car or the crushing wheels be behind some glass so that nothing ever accidentally gets put into them i mean there's no really avoiding that like but no loot bees accidentally fall in there or anything like that uh and then we'll utilize some glass as well oh loot bee where did you spawn right there they've been pretty weird lately they don't really drop anything and then they just despawn and all their items pop out but that's okay we just hold a flower and we're good to go i guess he's kind of dropping some stuff here okay oh another trident let's go i don't know how useful that will be oh another egg oh what are you gonna drop anything good chance cube we can drop that item card aluminum and a diamond let's go thank you these are for laser I.O. Very nice. And then we got a mechanism. Buzz me and we get very cool. Okay, so we want the crushing wheels to be right there. Uh, so it means these guys got to kind of come out too. We're, we are worried a little bit about how it looks. I want it to look presentable. I want it to look good. I, I want it to be functional, like first and foremost. Uh, but, you know, having it look good is important to me as well but yes so there we go we have that going um and then we just need to get those item pipes over here we can start getting some gravel um let's see where did i put those there they are cool so we have the item pipes here so we should oh wait that's backwards actually so let's place this here this is very directional we need to have the blue side going uh, i don't exactly know where we're gonna put this guy yet um yeah this is making the hammer yeah okay so we're getting the gravel out of there um yeah and so we're gonna have glass here going down and then they're gonna get crushed and put into here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I think I got this thing kinda dialed in to where I want it. Uh, so we have one gear change, two gear change, three gear change, and then it's going across here. Uh, the cool thing is, 
is that with the way this is set up, we can hide most of that behind there. So it won't look too bad at all. We can kind of see back there a little bit, but it looks good. We'll eventually bring this back down here. This is how it'll look. Items will be going here. We'll have a conveyor belt here, bringing it over to our system. Uh, and then we'll probably have some storage either in this room or somewhere else. But yeah, now we need to work on getting the conveyor belts, which is gonna require us to utilize some kelp. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Do we have any kelp in here? Yes, we do need to make a kelp farm. So we're gonna make one here really fast. Um, probably like this, yeah. So we've got three in here. Perfect, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is grab some gravel. Uh, we can't actually grab the gravel in there. Okay, we're gonna turn this into the sand and we will make some glass. All right, so we're gonna make a super quick and efficient um, farm here real quick. And all we need to do is get up here. Then we can grab this guy. We can put him here and then put this guy here and then right here. Yes, we can have some kelp. So we're gonna plant these and then we'll bone meal them. I need some air. Actually, we should have air right here. Yeah. Loot B down below, that's okay. And if we do this, we should be able to make these guys and booyah. So now, all we need to do is just plant these down. Oh, come on. These down here or here. And then we can just bone meal them. Cool. So now we have quite a bit of kelp here. We can set up a... Or we can just get a magnet and that will allow us to do it. But now we can go ahead and just smelt this up into some dried kelp. And this will allow us to create the cool little uh, mechan mechanical belt. And that was a quest. Let us see what we get for it. Feral lamps. Let's go. These are amazing. We will be putting them in right now. Cool, so that will light up the area in a very nice way. And we can actually go ahead and just put this here and we can get rid of the torches because it will light it up. Goodbye torches. Hello, feral lamp. Cool, so we actually have another one there too and these should be done. So let's make a bunch of these. Perfect. All right, so we've got those guys. Um, we're gonna need to make a couple of things. Gearboxes we need probably a lot of. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make a bunch of the gearboxes. Uh, we can actually make a few now. Recipe, there we go. So we have a total of nine. We can add these two and we have 11. So that should be okay for now. Uh, and the other thing we need to make are the case drives, I believe. Uh, chain drives, these guys here. So that's gonna require some more making of things from this dude. We'll grab a couple of these. All right. We strip all of these down and then we can right click it with the andesite alloy. Perfect. Cool, and then I should have couple of these guys in some spots, just the ingots. I think that's it actually. No worries, we're getting a little bit of lag spiking going on. Okay, what was it to make? Okay, what is going on? There we go. Okay, we have 11 of these guys paired up with these, good. Okay, it might be that feral lamb, might just not be having a good day, you know? Okay, and so now what we're gonna do 
is we'll put this guy here and this guy here. Yep, it's turning the correct way. Perfect. All right, we'll bring it over. And we want the washing chamber or the fire chamber, washing chamber to be here. go and so this guy needs to be here all right we should be able to just click it over yep and there we go so the conveyor belt is working and if we want to make it faster we could just probably pull uh, some rotational force maybe down from here and over uh, we might be able to get this to move a little bit faster, but then it goes there very good and we need to put it here. Nope. We need to put it here. Yep, there we go. And then we will put it here. There we go, because we're going to put a depot there, not the dried kelp, but you go here. Okay, might have to break this. Okay, and then... What is going on? Okay, there we go. So now the belt is set up correctly. Very good. All right, so we're gonna put a gearbox here, gearbox here. And I think we might need to put one here. Okay, that is going the wrong way we're gonna do is put in encased chain drive. There we go. And so now those are going the correct way. Perfect. So here we go. We gotta make the depot, which is pretty simple to make. I believe it just requires andesite casing and this. No, that's not it. And this, yes, just an andesite alloy, perfect put it there so then it can be washed by whatever means that we wish I definitely think we need to improve the speed of this actually all right let's see here yeah that is so much better perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, items drop here, they go over, and then they get put on to here. So let's test it out. We throw a cobblestone, let's put it over and we should see it. Yep, there it is. Perfect, and then it'll be lined up and ready to get washed. Okay, so now we're gonna work on getting our uh, gravel onto into this guy. Uh, so I believe we need to make some shoots here. Um, yeah, let's make a shoot. It's pretty simple to make. Oh, and what else? I made a little uh, iron hammer. Mine's a three by three by one. This is gonna be nice. It just takes three iron and three sticks. So we made that. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and make that real quick. We just need three. Two of those will get smacked down like so. And then boom, boom, that gives us four. Okay, so the shoots are good. So we can put this guy right here and Did that work? Nah, it didn't work. Okay, that's fine. Um Okay, so I think this is gonna work here. What I did is I took an andesite uh, belt funnel here and I put it on 
the side of our auto hammer here. And if I do switch it over, uh, that actually works. It puts andesite, our gravel onto the belt and we'll go. So now we just need to focus on clearing out this space back here and getting the stuff up to it. I don't know, I think here's probably gonna be our best bet. Um, I do have a gearbox and we do have this guy. So we need to see, does this turn the right way? No, it does not. I mean, it's probably gonna need one more gearbox in here, which is a little unfortunate, but now it's turning the right way. As you can see, gravel is being pumped up there. Is it being put into here? That is the real question. Let's let's uh see. There we go. Now it's working. All right, and what we can do is put some shoots here. We can do this, we can do that, so we can see everything going in. See the items being brought over here. And as you can see, we are getting items. This is good. Do we need one more shoot up here? Yes, okay. So if we put the shoot there, it will prevent it from overflowing and I believe, yep, the end, the gravel gets stuck there. Okay, so it gets backed up. It won't keep pumping it out. So we have some time. Good, so we also need to find a way to filter out um, some of the items. Uh, like, like we need to filter out coal, I believe, is an item, um, let's see. Coal, we can smelt this, smelt this, smelt this, smelt it, smelt it. Okay, so we can smelt everything but the coal. So we just need to find a way to get our coal out of there. Okay, so I believe the best bet is gonna be making a brass tunnel. Now this is gonna be a little involved because uh, we have to sand down some stuff. Um, So we need eight redstone, which we do not have. Hmm. Hmm, okay. All right, so we should be able to make a couple of the rose quartz. Now I'm gonna make a few of these just cause it always seems that I need more than I have. And so all you do is you just put one in your off hand, one in a normal ham, and you just right click. It's such a really, it's such a cool animation. And the cool thing is our repair talisman keeps repairing this, so that's really cool. So yeah, those are good to go. And then we just need a iron plate. Um, let's see here. Okay, I do have that on me still. We're about to be swimming in the iron, so we'll be good. We'll be great. There we go, some iron sheets. Booyah, okay, electron tubes, and then we can make a brass tunnel. Very cool. So this is gonna require us to get another belt going. Back here, and I think we're gonna filter it right here. So we can place this maybe, and then Place it like this, maybe, and then connect these up. Hmm. No, not this one. We will go down, because we want the fan back here blowing on it. Okay, so right here and then under here, we're gonna put the encased chain drive like so. And then we can put this guy 
over here for now. And so if we do this to here, we should see that that goes good. And we can go boom to boom. Yep, and those are all going great. Okay, and then we can put the encased fan here. I think I'm just gonna steal one of these guys. Um, yeah, we can get water whenever we want, so we're gonna take this guy. We'll take this guy too. And we're gonna turn this one into the lava one. Okay, there we go, we got lava. Let's scoop it up in a bucket. Perfect. And then we're gonna have some stone pressure plates. Or do we want stone pressure plates? Okay. So, let us see. This will work if we put it here and we can just encase it like this. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna paste the mechanical belt like so. We'll place this back here. I believe we're out. Yeah. That's okay. We can make some more real quick. Okay. So we got some more of the shafts, which is what we really need. Uh, oh, whoops. Break this real quick. This needs to be the chain. Yep, there we go. And that is pushing outwards. Perfect. So we'll place this here and here. And then the lava bucket will, jeez, go here. Okay, that's gonna burn me every time I walk in front of it. Okay, so what we need to do is put some glass in front of that so we don't die every time we walk in there. <laughs> Gotta walk around. Okay, there we go. That should prevent us from being burnt as often. All right, so that's been set up, good to go. And then the next thing we're gonna do is set up a conveyor belt right here. Place this here, booyah. And then this will go into the next room with our other thing. Okay. And so I don't have an exact spot for this just yet. But what we'll do is here to here. Okay, and I wonder, will this allow us to put the andesite funnel on here? Oh, I already have it here. I might need to lower this by one. Yeah, I need to lower this by one, that's okay. And I think we'll just set these to go into a like drawer controller where we'll have all of our items. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Hey, we got a stick. And we just need to put some chain drive in this. Um, do, do, do. Chain drive goes here, here, and here. Ah, uh, I see, we're gonna need a brass funnel. Okay, so I grew some uh, industrial hemp seeds by just bone mealing the uh, area down here and I got some seeds uh, from the ground. So yeah, we have these guys growing over here. Uh, I used the bone meal, got a couple of uh, a few stacks here and what we can do is turn these into string which will allow us to turn 
this into wool uh, and allow us to make some uh, some really good filters for our system here that will allow us to process things through. So yeah, we have 13 filters. I was not expecting to make that many. Oops. Okay, well, I have a couple more bone meal here. I gotta go ahead. Oh wait, that guy's grown. Oh yes, we need to make a couple more wool. This is just what I've been doing. And there we go, we should have enough. Yep, we have enough to make a filter. Cause all we have to do is just filter uh, coal for one of them. And okay, one, okay, we're gonna need to make more. More iron ingots, that's okay. Now we make an item filter, perfect. This will be for our funnels to get coal. Yes, it's all coming together. So grab that here. Oh, wait a second. Can I not put the... F oh. That needs... This needs to change a bit so we can filter coal. Okay, so let's do this. Go click, click. And then... We will put... This guy here. Do one of these guys and one of these guys and boom. Okay, so we've resolved this issue. Very good. So now we can put the other brass tunnel here. And actually we should be able to just do this, filter coal. Good, so if we wanna filter other things coming through, we can as well, but now coal will come through here and that will go, all the other items will go over here to get washed. Very good. So we need to break this guy and we're gonna put a brass funnel here and we need an attribute filter. So, hmm, let's have a look here. So let's take this here, we'll put this, can be crushed, can be smelted. So can't be smelted should be the filter that we put here. If we do this. Oh, not not this, please. All right, let's have a look. So, if I grab all of the things that can't be smelted, Yeah, we actually should start to get items that can, that have been smelted. So it should allow it to sit here, and after it's good, puts it through. After it's good, puts it through. All right, so that has, this thing is working now. So we just need to find a spot for all of the items to go and coal should be getting filtered out too. Let's double check that. Yes, coal is being filtered out, perfect. Okay, so how many items do we get from smushing the gravel? Okay, we can do that. Wait, what was this? Oh, we can grow mushrooms. Okay, so gravel uses here we go being crushed so let's take this put it over here if you guys didn't know you could do that so we need one two three four five six items okay so here we go here's two and then we're gonna make this we're gonna move these guys like it doesn't it's not a big deal that we we move the botany pots it's not the end of the world all right so we're gonna make a couple of these guys and i believe it's like this Yes, and so for items that require more, um, so say iron. Okay, so bauxite and zinc are going to have their own little drawer. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. 
So we'll go here and here and here, here, here. And oh, we not need this one. Okay. Okay, so iron, I'll put iron here. Um, I believe zinc was one of the 30s. Yep, so the 30s will get their own. Aluminum can go here. Lead is a 13, so it can go here. Osmium, okay, osmium can go here. Okay, so we're waiting for some bauxite to come. Actually, we don't even need coal to be separated because it's gonna put it here. It's gonna realize we can't do anything with it and it's just gonna put it on. So we can get rid of that. Not worry about it. We, we will have to revamp that a little bit, but that's okay. Let's work on getting a drawer controller. Uh, also, I'm gonna smelt up this bauxite. Oh, aluminum. That makes sense. Okay, and then osmium goes here. Okay, and then we're gonna have coal have its own drawer. Okay, so everything's stopped, which is really good. It can't overflow and like lag me out of the world. That's really nice. Okay, so coal's gonna have its own big one here. So we'll break these for now because we don't need them. And then let's make a drawer controller. Oh, wait. Functional storage. Here we go. Storage controller. So what items do we need for this guy? Okay, so we need some kind of stone. And not cobblestone, actually. Is that, will that suffice? Yes, and we need two blocks of quartz. Like this, okay. And then all we need now is a redstone comparator. So we need one of you, three of you. Um, over here is where this guy's at. A couple sticks. All right, storage controller. There we go. So we've got all of the items. Here, now we just need to make a shoot real quick. There we go, and then we need to link them. diamond we need two gold and then we need paper I think we've only got one sugar cane so we're gonna need some snad this here which is just two sand that's pretty simple get snatted okay perfect and then we're gonna put this just here for now. And we'll wait. Okay, so this has been a really quick process. You just break both of them and it grows quick. So yeah, we have enough uh, sugar cane now to go ahead and create the link for all of that. Uh, we might need six of them, perfect. All right, functional storage. And 
What do we need in the middle? We need another one of those. Okay. We need a drawer. Perfect. Okay. So we've got everything we need to go ahead and start automating these guys. So what we're going to do is put the drawer controller here. Now it might seem a little odd. Trust me. This would just start, this is just going to start spewing items off. So it's important that we get that there quick. And so now, yep, this will start putting items automatically into the system for us. So we have essentially automated these items here. We never really have to worry about them again. Yeah, they're just going to keep going. So we can take the coal from this side, maybe. Oh, we can't. Oh, well. But yeah, so we have these automated and we're going to go AFK for a while and we should start to see. Yep, items are coming in. They're looking good. It's great. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully automated iron, coal, lead, uh, a bunch of other things too. So yeah, we are swimming really good. Actually, I think we missed one item that we didn't do right. Is that a slime? A big boy. Yes. Very good. Look at all the slime balls. It's going to be great. Perfect. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.